This is Peter Johnson and I'm just taking a few minutes to show you how to um, rename a file in Eclipse as well as how to extract just the source code from a file. First of all we see we have a, a program here named hello. Here's the the class named hello and then the file you can see on the tab is also named hello.java. Notice the capital H and if we look over here in our project we can see also the file name. Now if we want to rename this, let's say to Project Char, you would right mouse click on Hello, go down to Refactor and Rename. And then we could say Project Char. We want to update the references, update similarly named variables and methods, and click on finish. Now it says that type hello contains a main method and some applications may not work after refactoring. With our basic programs that we have set up with just the main we don't have to worry about this this warning. So we'll say finish and you can see that here our class was changed and our file name was changed. And if we run the program, we say it's a Java application. It's OK. And you can see it works just like it should. Now, in order to get just the Java code, we want to find out where this file is. And if we right mouse click on the file, we can go down and look at properties. And right here at the very top, we can see that our path is in project hello source project project char dot java. Here's the location on my Macintosh. It's in users Peter J Eclipse workspace project hello under source and there's my file. So if I go out to my file explorer, which in Mac we call Finder, and I go to Peter J Eclipse workspace. I go to my project. Notice my prefix. I named my project with a PRJ, so I know that's a project. And if I go into my source, I find my project char. And if I open that up in a text editor, you can see that here indeed is the same, same file, same text as I have in my Eclipse. So you can see that's the same thing. If I go back to my Explorer, I can pull this file out and, and submit it as my project. Now when you run this Java, I just want to point this out, it creates a class. And so here's the actual class. Now if we go back here and look at our source code, you can see that the name of this class is Project Char. And if we look in our binary file, this is after it's been compiled, here's our project char, which is now a class. Now this is bytecode, so if we open this up with a text editor, and it doesn't even want to offer me a text editor because it knows it's not text. And you can see this is what the bytecode looks like. There's some strings in here that you recognize from the program. Everything else is bytecode or ones and zeros that only Java understands. So this is basically Java language here. So I've showed you how to rename a file and a class using refactor rename and I've also shown you how to find where your files are by go looking at the properties of the file and looking at the location. And this .java file is what you want to submit with your projects. I won't need the .class files because I'll be producing those automatically as I grade your projects.